Well, it was beautiful across East Central Illinois today. Temperatures in the high 80s, 85 in Charleston right now, 86 up in Champaign and 88 over in Taylorville. Those heat index values are a little boosted right now because we're continuing to seeing all this wind come up from the south. Wind speeds right now, 10 miles an hour in Charleston, 8 over in Paris and 15 over in Taylorville. So we'll see this wind the rest of the night tonight, which will keep our temperatures boosted as we go out through tomorrow morning. Today's highs coming later this afternoon, 86 degrees in Charleston, 88 up in Champaign and 87 over in Decatur. So just below that 90 degree point but as we go on later on into the week, that's when we could see those temperatures rise back up, back up into the 90s. Future cast the rest of the night tonight. We see some partly cloudy skies across east central Illinois, but then those start to dissipate. We're going to see clear skies over the early morning hours for your Tuesday. It's going to be a starry night tonight as we head out throughout the rest of the night. Overnight tonight, temperatures drop down to 70 degrees, partly cloudy skies. But again, it's going to be pretty warm because we have that wind coming up from the south at gusts upwards of 17 miles per hour. And heading into your Tuesday, 88 degrees, plenty of sunshine to start off the day. It's actually going to be quite warm, but then towards the evening, that's when we start to cool down and we're going to start to see those severe thunderstorms move throughout the area. Future wind gusts for tonight, 17 miles an hour in Charleston, 23 over in Decatur and 17 in Effingham. So again, with these winds coming up from the south, that's what's going to produce those warmer temperatures and produce storms heading into tomorrow. So the severe weather threat for tomorrow, we have a slight risk up in Pyatt, Champaign and in Vermilion County and then the rest of the WIU viewing area is a part of that marginal risk heading into tomorrow. Taking a look now at what we're expecting 4 p.m. on your Tuesday. That's when those storms start to roll their way in. It's going to start off very scattered, but then again, they start to develop and start to come together. It could develop around the center portion of the WAU viewing area and then push its way down further south, and that's going to affect Newton, Robinson, Terre Haute, and the KZ area later tomorrow afternoon. Again, we let this roll through. Futurecast is showing that it could start to break up a bit, but I have a feeling that these storms are going to continue to develop as they move further south because it's been so warm over the past couple of days. As we head into the late night hours of your Tuesday, that storm pushes its way out of the viewing area, and we're just left with some clear skies for the rest of your night on Wednesday. So storm threats heading into tomorrow. We could see quite a bit about a rain, and then for hail-wise, we're not going to see as much. Heavy winds for tomorrow could see upwards of 45 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts. And then as for tornado activity tomorrow, we're not expecting anything severe. But the WIU Skywatch team will be on, on staff tomorrow to, to, to continue to monitor these storms heading into Tuesday. After the storms tomorrow, we're still expecting to get very warm temperatures throughout the rest of the week. Taking out the 8 to 14 day outlook, we're still in that bright red because we're going to see that wind continue to come up from the south after that cold front pushes through tomorrow and that's going to warm up temperatures right back up to the mid 80 degrees up to the high 90s heading into the rest of the week.